Hi guys, my name is Gavin. I'm coming to you from Crunch of the North, aka Crunch Canada. Um, today we're going to be doing a workout with the couch. I know due to COVID, I mean a lot of us are having a little bit of mental and physical strains. A, we're not being able to get into the gym, and B, with life being all locked off and isolated as is, we have to try to make the best out of what we can. So, today's workouts are going to be to add more meat on the bones, like explained in the description earlier. So, we're going to have two styles of exercise. You're going to get to pick and choose what you feel is more comfortable in accordance to your skill set. Option one will be time under tension. You get the option of doing each exercise between 30 and 45 seconds. I do recommend having a stopwatch if you're doing that option. Or option two, we'll be doing repetitions. You can name between 12 and 15 repetitions, and you can go for about three to five sets. Even with those ones, I do recommend trying to go a little bit slower. Once again, we're not in an, in an industrial gym. We're sitting at home, so you don't want to cause any damage. All right, so what we're gonna do, in the, before we start our exercises, we're gonna start off with some warm-ups. Make sure you guys do this about 30 to 45 seconds per exercise. I'm gonna do a quick couple snippets of it, so you guys will follow along. First one we start off with is arm circles. You want to make sure you're doing nice big circles with your arms. First we start off with arms up forward. Then we're gonna do it in reverse. Very simple. Okay, second we're gonna get our triceps, get them nice and warmed up. Push with the opposite arm, same thing with the other side. All right, continue on. Let me get our shoulders going. Get them a good stretch in there. And then get some good torso rotations in there. Make sure your body's nice and limber. The last thing we want during isolation is causing more damage. All right. Get our quads going. Nice good stretch. Good stretch. A little for our lats. All right. If you guys want to get more warm, you can throw in some jumping jacks, some burpees, whatever it takes to get your heart rate up. All right, let's start off with the workout. So our first superset, which is two exercises back to back, is going to be the single leg deadlift and the lunge and press with the single arm. I will show you one exercise per side. You guys have to do the exact same thing on each side. All of most of our exercises today are going to be single arm or single leg. Ideally, I will incorporate some both leg and double exercises, but we're going to be targeting isolation movement first. Okay, so let's start off with single leg deadlifts. So, simple deadlift, obviously we understand, core engaged, back straight, corner deadlift. With a single leg deadlift, the exact same thing, but you raise one leg. Up, and control. Up, and control. Want to make sure your core is engaged at all times, and your back is staying straight. Perfect. Alright, right after that we're going to be going into the lunge and press with the single arm. Super simple, couch up. Core engaged, and press, lunge, and press, lunge, and press. So the same side that goes back on the leg, that's the same arm that's going to be pressing. Do the same thing in reverse, lunge, and press, lunge, and press. All right, that's going to be our superset. So you're going to do the first exercise, followed by the second one back to back. We're going to go for about three rounds per piece. So that's cluster number one. Whew, I'm already getting my heart going. So cluster number two is going to be our single leg pistols, followed by prisoner squats. All right. So single leg pistols, super easy. We're going to do them off the couch because clearly my mobility is not going to allow me to do it off the ground. So core engage, back straight, leg forward, and drive. And drive. And drive. So I'm pleased. Second one is prisoner squats. Hand behind your head. I do recommend doing the time under tension for this one. You're going to go for 30 seconds. Constant motion. No stopping. Just like that. Perfect. All right. That's cluster number two. All right, guys. So now we're going to go over to cluster number three. That single arm rows, and then we're gonna do a little bit of a clapping push up. If it's a little too hard to do clapping push ups, they'll just be inclined push ups. So, single arm row.
Same thing on the other side. Our next one is going to be a little bit of a cotton push up. So you have your options, it just depends on how comfortable you feel. This one's going to be for your chest, obviously. Get your hands up. Now do a push up. Or if you want to showboat, throw in some clapping push ups. If you guys are anything like me, you're out of breath already. And we have our last cluster left. Oh, I lied, we have two clusters. First one, we have our chest press and skull crushers. Alrighty. Chest press. Super simple. Get out of my way. Don't get hurt. <laughs> press. Press. If this weight is too light, you can get your significant other or your dog to jump on and use it as extra weight. Once you do about 15 reps or your time under tension rep amount, you move over to skull crusher. Nice and easy. Just try not to crush your skull. It's not gonna be a fun time, especially with quarantine. Alrighty. Now, for our last cluster. It's gonna be what we all love for our arms. We're gonna do dips and then we're gonna do bicep curls. So, so maybe it doesn't move. All right. That's our dips. Super set right away with the bicep curls. And that's that. Very simple, very easy. You got multiple exercises, and you want to do these consistently. That's me, Gavin, coming from Canada. Looking forward to seeing you guys soon. Enjoy your workouts.